Hi, today we're going to work on a lesson, a problem on trade discounts. So you imagine a manufacturer is offering a wholesaler uh, a trade discount on washing machines. So there's 20 washing machines that they're selling to the wholesaler. They each cost $500 each. What is the net price and amount of discount? if there are different trade discounts. So first we'll deal with 10%, then 5% and 20%. So at 10%, we can calculate the list price, which is 20 washing machines times $500, which is a total of $1,000. You can calculate the amount of discount, 10% of the $1,000 is $100. And the net price, which is you can calculate in two ways since you already have the list price and the amount of discount. You can subtract that from each other, or you can use the formula for list and as net price, $1,000 times bracket one minus 10%, which is $900. Remember to change the percent to decimals while converting it, right? So you can see that the relation between net price, list price, amount of discount in this diagram, the list price is always the total. And the amount uh, of discount and the net price add up to the list price. Okay, so this relation is very important because as the percentage of trade discount changes, it does affect how the net price, it affects more than just the amount of discount. These variables work in relation. So when you change one thing, the other things change. But what happens in our next problem, when first we decrease the trade discount. So imagine decreasing the trade discount we're going to get the following calculations. The list price stays the same, so that does not change as you change the trade discount. But the, now the amount of discount is a lot lower because 5% of $1,000 is $50. And then the net price has increased. So net price is now $950. So when the trade discount decreased from 5% to 10, uh, from 10% to 5%, the amount of discount decrease, which meant the net price increase. So let's do another example where now the trade discount is has increased to 20%. What can we, well, how does it affect the variables that we're talking about? Now the amount of discount, which is 20% of $1,000 is $200, okay? which means the net price is $800. So when you increase the trade discount percentage, the amount of discount increases, but the net price actually works uh, in inverse and decreases. But it does always work with each other because the net price and the amount of discount have to add up to the list price. So this next diagram kind of highlights difference, right? And I really want you to draw um, your attention to the difference of what happens when you increase or decrease the trade discount amount, when you increase or decrease the amount of discount, right? How does it affect the net price? Because the variables will be working together always. That's it for our example today. Thank you for joining us.